I've already gone over the Russia situation. It's all over the top. Before I go any further here today, we're going to be talking to a political prisoner from federal prison today who dared to have a 501c3 in America that teached creationism. And that was deemed by the feds as fraud. Pound free Kent. Kent Hovind, who was on the show. It had to be 15, 16 years ago. And they really didn't like him because he was a charming and nice guy, whether you believe in creationism or believe in mainline Darwinism. I think both of them become dogmatic because it's men interpreting the Bible and then making it their own dogmatic stuff. And then then you've got other men, you know, saying that it's it's everything that Charles Darwin said. I don't buy into either view. And the elite don't either. They buy into terraforming operations and that the earth was seeded here. That's in the New York Times, the Financial Times. What's it called? Pan-transpermia, I believe. Basically, if you want to see the creation myth of the elite that they've had for thousands of years, uh, going back to Egypt or Greece, uh, just go watch the movie Prometheus and you'll, you'll have it all figured out. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm explaining that panspermia is what the elite believe are going on. When they teach you all this Darwinism, that's not what they believe. Do I believe that Adam and Eve rode around on dinosaurs like Kent Hovind thinks? No. Are dinosaurs walking around today? Galapagos turtles, saltwater crocodiles, monitored lizards, Komodo dragons? Absolutely, they're dinosaurs. They're from that era. It's the only thing you could technically say is a dinosaur would be the crocodile. But it's there. Have there been stragglers in certain areas of the world that have survived? Absolutely. But should you be locked up in prison because you got a 501c3 and openly put out a big theme park that becomes popular? No, you can't have competing culture. And they got away with Kent Hovind. So now they've moved on to tens of thousands of denied 501c3s and tens of thousands, almost everyone who's libertarian, conservative, pro-gun 501c3, 501c3-4 charities, um, pro-life, conservative FBI foundations, retired FBI agents, the what that's the Paul Revere Society, all these groups are getting indicted or harassed or audited, and then the Democrats admit, and it's come out in documents, it was done against their enemies. This is serious political oppression on a scale thousands of times worse than Richard Nixon. He had the names of maybe 130, 140 people. He might have harassed five or six of them and leaked information to the press. Good, indict him, impeach him, remove him because it could grow into thousands and then millions if he got away with it. He didn't get away with it. But we sit here and watch the Democrats that have turned into a surly cult of losers, led by people like Al Sharpton, a coke-dealing FBI rat. I mean, this is a sick joke. And now we've got a government run by a bunch of thugs trying to start a nuclear war with Russia. And look, Napoleon did it, Hitler did it. Elites always become disconnected from reality and think they're invincible on power trips in their big ivory palaces. I've read, no exaggeration, 300, 400 history books, history magazines, studied it. It's, it's, it's obsessive once you get into it because you see humans make the same mistakes over and over again. This time we've got bio and nuclear and chem weapons and a lot of other advanced stuff, and we cannot afford a world war. But see, they want to bring one final world war in to bring in the one final world government. And that's biblical. If I open a theme park about uh, the end of the world, I guarantee if you had the funds, you built one in the right spot, it'd be very successful, very lucrative. And that's what they're scared of is, is the alternative groups of any type self-funding. Mainstream media can lie all day, get government funding, government stimulus, it's okay. We dare fund ourselves selling high-quality products. Oh, it's nasty, it's dirty. Oh, my gosh. 
They don't want us having energy. They don't want us building any culture other than their culture. That's what political correctness is, is you must adopt that culture. Out in the West, we've got video coming up in the next segment. All over the country it's happening where a group of black people with their white trendy Soros handlers, college students, show up and show up at restaurants and yell at people and say, raise your hand in solidarity for Brown who was shot in Ferguson or you're a racist and the whites all submit basically and raise their hands under threat. That is pure Soviet behavior. Black Lives Matter protesters target white diners eating brunch. That is our story on DrudgeReport.com in the middle column. Regardless of what you think about this, and, and then they say why, you know, every something seconds or every, you know, few minutes somebody gets killed and s certain percentage are black, yeah, and nine out of ten blacks are being killed by blacks. And these Soros-handled groups, their answer is ban guns. I always hear that. You know, the NRA is the new clan because black people are getting shot in areas where they've banned the guns. Nine out of ten blacks that are shot in this country, look it up, are shot by other black people. And are there some police out of control? Absolutely. But this is being pushed to create division because they want us all each other's throats, and it's truly disgusting. Now, let me just read to you some of the other headlines that are coming up as well today. I mentioned this yesterday, but didn't get to it on the Sunday show. The Hills come out with an excellent article basically saying why the FCC power grab is illegal because it's not a law. It came out of a regulation. There wasn't the proper comment period. It was kept secret. It violates a whole bunch of federal laws, just like Obamacare does. They'd have to have a Supreme Court ruling changing law, basically, to say this was okay. And even that would be unconstitutional because that'd be the Supreme Court making law. But it doesn't even have that. This is the other type of headlines I have, okay? Orwellian nightmare unleashed on schools. Now, I told you this 20 years ago. Again, not bragging. I'm just saying this has been going on a while, but WorldNet Daily has the proof. When your kids go and take standardized tests now that are federalized under Bushes and the neocons and the Democrats working together, just like they work together on Obamacare and gun control and open borders and the FCC power grab, Republicans went along with that. When you go write essays, you name it, it's all kept by the feds and all put in databases, and that's in this report. They just have the documents, so there you go. You know, they ask you in these essays to write about your parents' medicine cabinet, for heaven's sakes. I mean, it's just you can't make this up. Your parents own guns. This is databasing with keyword. Ah, federal lunch, federal education. The Department of Defense in many schools now under grants runs the AI cameras studying the students and scanning how many calories they eat from a distance. That's San Antonio Express News three years ago. Look it up. You can't make it up. I mean, folks, it might as well be a space alien from 55,000 light years away. That what the elite are building will be a new life form, this AI system. It's probably already self-aware, and it's being built to end humans and have a war with us and win. And it's not going to win with combat robots and micro drones. That's a small part of it. It's going to win by computer actuaries of the economy to incrementally shut things down and fight a psych warfare system with us with future predicting programs to predict mass movements and individual movements to then war game everything so it's impossible to beat. Only full awareness of the enemy takeover can beat it. And, and let's just go with the Christian view, because that is my view. It is a spiritual entity from another dimension known as Lucifer, Satan, the devil. The Bible's real, folks. It is a fallen entity. I've studied this, and it makes my faith so much stronger. That is on this planet with advanced intelligence, ladies and gentlemen, that is seeking to destroy this creation and build another one on top of it. Now, the elites believe it's skull and bones of Bohemian Grove that they are actually worshiping fallen angels that are the good guys and that are going to give them eternal life and power. That's right out of the Bible, folks. My God, we're on a planet and people can't even figure this out. I mean, it's all real. It's all happening. But they've seized the churches and the churches think that Christians don't get messed with, that we just get teleported out of here. No, that comes after all this. I mean, this is epic, people. 
They're microchipping folks all over Europe to have jobs now. That was in the BBC three weeks ago. But even if the spirit of Satan isn't real, and I've studied this thing, folks, it's, it's, it's not of this world. It's advanced. I mean, I've got one of the highest understandings of this, anybody out there, and I look at it, and you look at it, and you get chills. You're like, oh, my God. The, it, just the, like, I can't even articulate how just massive this is and how the evil intellect we're up against. Thank God for Jesus is all I can tell you. Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.